Welcome back into the show. We're heading into some uh, 814 fun. Now we've got Adam Crawford, who's the director, actor, and writer for the film The Coliseum. You also brought along your daughter here, Miss Felicity, also Miss Liss. And uh, Felicity, you're going to be in the movie as well. But Adam, kind of tell everybody, kind of set this, uh, the stage here, the scene of uh, what Coliseum is all about. Oh, Coliseum is a film that follows two basketball players that have to overcome like their own mental illness, like their own anxiety, depression, whatever the case may be, to become an answer to a pastor's prayer for community healing based off of a racial hate crime. Okay. I've been working on it for probably about, uh, I'd say since 2017, somewhere around there. I know, I, this is kind of a long time coming and it's all kind of coming into fruition now. What has this process been like, you know, creating a film from start to finish? <sighs> Man, <laughs> a lot of work. I don't, I don't get paid enough. I'll get paid <laughs> right? Enough. But like, uh, it's been, it's been really challenging. Um, you know, it's really um, challenged my own mental health as well. Like, cause you know, there's sometimes where I just straight up don't want to do it. You know, I yeah. wake up and I'm just like, you know, um, you know, like, is anyone even going to watch this? Is anyone going to pay attention to this? Um, is this even worth it? Right. But you know, then I think about the people that like, you know, this can influence and have a positive impact on and it. Like, you know, it's helped me grow so it can help everyone else grow. It's going to. And so yes. you're helping to write, direct, you're also acting in the film and you included your daughter in too. Uh, Miss Liss, that's your role. What are you playing in the, in the movie? What kind of, what's your, tell me about your character. So my dad gets thrown into jail or something and I get him out. Oh. What do you think about acting? This is your first movie. Did you have fun with it? We didn't do it yet. Oh, you haven't filmed it yet? No. Oh, so this is all kind of, it's the gala. Mm -hmm. That's what's coming up to get kind of the ball rolling here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Yep. So what we're going to do is first we're going to do the gala to kind of like, I want to bring us down to a level that we can like relate to other people. And then after we do the gala, we're going to start the production phase of the film and okay. release next year. And, and so that's kind of because we've kind of got to meet some of the actors here, yeah. um, which is a really cool thing. And I, I think we're going to be, so tell me about some of the people who are in the film. Well, that is Brian. Um, I can't ever pronounce his last name, so I just call him <laughs> Brian K. Yeah. Um, and then that's oh. uh, Mia Felicity right there. Um, and then, you know, we have a couple others coming up here. Some of them will be here on the studio. That's Ellie Holdebaum. Um, she is going to be playing a young version of our protagonist. Um, and she's from Pittsburgh. And that is the protagonist herself. That is Erica Kren. Um, she's playing one of the two basketball players that will be um, overcoming their mental illness. That is Joey and Shalene Morrison. They are actually um, the owners of Invictus that will be helping us out with this gala. That is John Broadway. He is one of my main actors too. He's actually out of LA. Mm -hmm. um, and he is also a writer and producer and director himself. I met him in Atlanta. That is Nikisha Howard. I have known her ever since 2017. She's actually the first one that I ever cast on this project. Um, and I wrote a character directly after her. That's a poster for our gala right there with me, John, and Erica. Um, that gala will be on August 12th. Um, started at 7 p.m. and ended at 10.30 p.m. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a really awesome time there at Luigi's Villa in Dubois. Um, we are going to have some red carpet pictures. We are going to... Uh, read the script, you know, because originally we were going to try to perform it as kind of like a skit type mm -hmm. thing. But, you know, we started getting a little late in the game because, you know, life happens and everything like that. So um, we're just going to read the script. We're going to get some red carpet pictures. There'll be a cash bar there. All proceeds are going to be donated to NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Yeah. Um, and then after that, we are going to head over to an after party at Invictus with Shalene and um, Joe that you just saw there. Um, it's going to be a really fun night. Um, tickets are on sale right now, um, but they are only on sale until the 28th. Mm -hmm. That's next week. Um, and what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to be giving away two free tickets. So if there's a, if there's a couple out there that want to go, um, so all they have to do is they have to share this video once I post the link or they have to share the event page. Okay. Um, and uh, what we'll do is the next guest that we have on this video related to the gala, they will draw the name and um, yeah, you can get yourself some free tickets to come hang out and go to Hollywood for a night. I mean, this is Yeah, it's kind of like that. And you know, you're going to be able to see some of the cast and crew. We're going to hear from some more actors right here. My name is Erica Kren and I will be playing Kylie Brander. I really hope to get out of this project an opportunity to share a story of someone that is going through challenges and really believes in herself and has this blind faith. I'm Jay George. I'm playing Sonny Brander. I'm originally from Pittsburgh, PA. I'm on a kid from this project. Uh, 
Mental health awareness um, is something that's very important to all of us. Um, life throws you a punches and thrills, so it's very important. Hey, I'm Adam J. Crawford. I am the director, a producer, the writer, and an actor in Coliseum. I am playing Percy Williams slash AJ. What do I want from Coliseum? Hmm. Well, to be honest with you, I just want to help people. You know, I just want somebody to feel the empowerment of their gifts and the choice to overcome mental obstacles, overcome mental illness. Yeah, what a great message, just helping people overcome. I think that's what they're going to, you know, get from this movie. And you, so you're actually going to be on uh, the show a few times, bringing in some different crew members to, you know, share what they hope to bring to the film. Yeah. Um, and uh, Felicity, what is it like kind of working uh, with your, your family here of, of friends? Are you enjoying the project? Yeah? I wasn't really in it that much. Really? Well, hey, this is just your start. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Is it? been fun working with your daughter kind of showing her the ropes because you're kind of a film guy you do this for fun you know as well it's just a passion project hey, well why don't you tell her how much you like the lion king i hate the lion king oh do you that's a, she's not a fan that's on live tv well <laughs> that's okay no. all right we're gonna uh check out those details for the gala one more time just so people can come out again those tickets are 25 dollars adam's been uh, kind enough to uh, throw in a little promotional uh, promo there so we've got details on how you can check out the after party of course that gala August 12th from 7 to 10 30 p.m. all right thank you guys so much for stopping by no, thank you for having us yes Maria. we're definitely supporting your project and uh, you we wish you the best with it yes thank you yeah we're gonna go ahead and uh, get a check of our weather forecast with our meteorologist Christy Shields before a quick break <laughs>